Welcome to another episode of Wonder Woman, where the success of a woman is an inspiration to another woman. You know, life will, uh, you get what you focus on. So always focus on what you want, what you really want uh, in your life. Now, let's focus on that. അങ്ങനെ ഒരു തിയറി പ്രാക്ടീസ് ചെയ്ത ഒരു ഒരു വണ്ടർ വുമൻ ആണ് നമ്മൾ ഇന്ന് മീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് ആസ് യൂഷ്വൽ ഐ ആം ഗോയിങ് ടു ടെൽ യു ദ നെയിം റൈറ്റ് നൗ ഐ ഷാൽ റിവീൽ ഇറ്റ് ലേറ്റർ സോ ഫോളോ മീ ദേവിക ശങ്കർ ദ വണ്ടർ വുമൻ ഓഫ് ദി ഡേ ദേവിക നമസ്തേ നമസ്കാരം ഹായ് സോ ദേവിക താങ്ക്യു ഞങ്ങൾ ഇൻവൈറ്റ് സ്വീകരിച്ചേന താങ്ക്യു ആൻഡ് വി വുഡ് ലവ് ടു നോ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് മീ മീ ആൻഡ് ദ വ്യൂവേഴ്സ് വി വുഡ് ലവ് ടു നോ how you became a wonder woman for us okay yeah. so adi can you introduce yourself to our viewers so that yes. they know when i say i might not say the whole thing but when you say about yourself everything yes. comes in right so yes. can you introduce yourself yeah. first so hi i'm devika uh, i'm a pastry chef by profession and i'm also the founder of thistle bakewell which is a premium pastry brand based out of kochi so um, I a hotel management graduate and I worked at a few five star hotels in Bangalore and with all the, all of that experience once I got married and moved to Kerala I started up this pastry shop oh, okay nice. yeah, yeah. So, so we'll just talk more about the the shop first yes. okay before I get on to the story because I always want the story and because yeah. story I don't mean it's not just me like I get inspired and the viewers yes. also get inspired so we'll just start with what is uh, I mean what is happening out here right now yeah. either with a unit or like yes we you don't have a shop we don't have a shop presently okay. but it's in the pipelines so soon okay, probably but, but right now it. we are in the the baking unit yes yes okay and um, pareo like what all do you bake out here so uh, we do things that are not generally available in normal bakeries in kerala like so, what so we do uh, our uh, products are all you know very authentic to their origins mm. so when you say macaron macaron has a french origin mm. and we do not compromise on the quality of ingredients that we mm. use so our macarons are prepared in the most authentic authentic ways mm. and like our brownies uh, we use uh, only coarse chocolate which is imported from belgium okay. so uh, all of our products are used with the most premium ingredients uh, available in the market right now mm. and that reflects in the taste and the quality so mm. you can blindly give it to a child also like you know it's healthy i mean it's healthy it, yes yeah okay. so uh, quality is our main priority in at this little bakery mm. and we also try to bring out new flavor combinations and things like that which is not very you know widely available devika when you say that uh, that you you concern the quality and and then like like you bring try to bring on bring out your own taste yeah. you try combinations in varimbam um what is uh, the the special thing that you bake out here that okay. is the, what do you say like end day this is my yeah. and the parana what is that one so thing? Uh, we have a cake which is a strawberry and pistachio flavored cake okay so when when i say pistachio it's not like an essence or anything that we add mm. we add pure pistachio paste that's imported from california so it's californian okay. pistachios that's been roasted mm. and made into a paste and we import you, that you guys do it out here you all roast uh, and you all do um, all the work or you you get the paste we get the paste you get the paste made, okay. but it's imported from california and it's mm. of the most highest quality like you know when mm. you taste it you know that it's really good mm. and it has a very authentic nutty pistachio flavor mm. and we use uh, strawberries also there's no uh, like you know preserve or anything that's added mm. it's just fresh strawberries that's been made into a compote and we layer the cake with that Mm. and that's like a flavor that you know i encourage our customers to try and we've got excellent reviews for the cake and if our have. viewers want to order it how can they order it is it online uh, they can contact us through whatsapp or instagram they can okay. check out our page thistle bakewell on instagram thistle bakewell yes thistle bakewell you guys got the name right thistle bakewell yes. it's there online you can always order yeah and, and do we you... have delivery in and around cochin okay yeah so a 50 km radius is what we deliver through okay uh, fi- uh, we have free delivery as well ha huh. yeah Okay tell me one thing uh, how did you get into this field so now uh, slowly trying to dig you yes, know right. get to your flashback yeah so um 
I'm born and brought up in Bangalore. Okay. My parents, my father is an engineer. My mother uh, is a science graduate. Mm-hmm. So um, I have a sister who is a doctor. So okay. everybody thought that I would end up being a doctor because I come from a family of doctors. Did you engineers. like? Did you no. like that stream? No. Not at all. Not at so all. I was very sure I did not want to be a doctor or an engineer because okay. I realized like you know. I'm not really good at those things. Like I do not like to sit down in a place and open a book and read through and read through. I, that's just not something that I was made for. Mm-hmm. So once um, I think around when I was in eighth standard, um, I started to bake. So you started to bake. Yes, uh-huh. I started to bake at home. Yeah, and I got a lot of positive reviews. It was just like a normal chocolate cake. You started to bake because you you liked to bake. Uh, was that? The, uh, that was my first time trying out baking. So uh-huh. what happened actually is that I always like to help my mom out in the kitchen, okay. trying out, you know, just standing with her. So she tells me the names of the spices and things like that. It was interesting to me. Mm-hmm. And once when my aunt came down from Kerala, she brought me an oven. Mm-hmm. So she said, like, you know, I'm not using this. Do you want to try using this? So once I got the oven, I decided to try experimenting with it, mm-hmm. and that's how I started making baking cakes mm-hmm. at home. And I enjoyed the process a lot. Did your parents force you to take science? Because yes. you wanted to take economics, like yes. I know, because yeah. you don't like uh, science. Yeah. So, but did your parents force you to take science? Yes, they did, um, and I sort of succumbed to that force because uh, I was okay with doing that for two reasons. Because okay. two things that my parents said, which I think makes a lot of sense, mm-hmm. is that if you take science, you can even go into the commerce field after that. Mm-hmm. But if you take commerce, if you want to come back to science, it's a little difficult. Like you know, you you, you cut out a lot of options. Mm-hmm. But science has a lot of more options. Like you can still go into, you know, like other fields as well. So I said, okay. I and I think they wanted me to follow my sister's footsteps. This is after ten, and or twelve. During twelve, because I had to make a decision about what I had to do. So in twelfth, I got to know about you know this um, course called hotel management. So. My parents were. My mother was completely against it she, because there's nobody in my family who's done something like that. Mm-hmm. So everybody was very hesitant, and every time I said something like this when we had a family gathering or with friends, everybody told my father, "Don't let her do this." Okay. So I don't know for some reason my father sort of believed in me. Then I told him like, "This is something that I think I can excel at, mm-hmm. and this is something that I like doing. So I really want to try doing it." Mm-hmm. And my father said, "Okay." And my mom was still not okay, and I joined hotel management. Mm. And I studied at Christ University in Bangalore, mm. and I had amazing teachers there, and we had a really good facility. But at that point, what was your strength? My strength was that I had a flair for doing, you know, baking things. Like I would grasp concepts much faster than okay. others. Mm. And like you know, when you put with a group of people and. Somebody sees that you're doing this well, you get a little more attention, and that really helped me as well because I realized like this is something that I'm actually good at doing. So when I I worked at hotels like the Oberoi, Taj, and Leela, multiple hotels, and when I went into the hot kitchen, it was not suited for me. Like it was really hot, it was really noisy. and it was just very scary because you know we're much smaller than all the men it's dominated by men the, the industry is very dominated by men okay so like you know i felt really like fear that's that point when you understood that the industry is very because yeah. at the beginning you don't have this idea yeah. that the industry yeah. is dominated yeah. by men no idea illa uh, did you feel like am i in the wrong track i'm going to i, feel I was scared Like you know, if I would get injured physically more than anything else, because you know the throwing things, the carrying huge vessels, okay. and they would expect you to do it. You don't get like you know they don't cut you slack just because you're a woman. Mm-hmm. You are you're expected to do everything. So they treat you uh, yeah equally. equally. Yeah. And like you know, sometimes the men are also a little rude to you also. Mm-hmm. Like you know, when mm-hmm. you're a trainee. Mm-hmm. So that was a little difficult for me, and that's when I got a chance to you know uh, get exposed to the pastry section. Okay. So. in the pastry section the main difference is that you have to be calm and it's more refined and it's okay. more artistic hmm. so that's something that i really enjoyed hmm. and i got some really good um, people who helped me out mentored me at the leela palace in bangalore and i realized like this is something that i'm good at so this was the training phase when you yes. went as trainees yeah this is 
then you realized that okay uh, the the baking part is yeah. what i am yes okay and then you all came back to your college yeah and did, did you get a chance to focus on on the baking later like yes. taking that as a mainstream yes so in christ it's a four year degree uh -huh. and in the first two years you were exposed to all the Every, different uh -huh. the, you know departments in the hotel we do housekeeping we do front office service and you know the kitchen aspect so uh, in the second the third year and fourth year we can choose a specialization hmm. so in the specialization i chose pastry and confectionery so the training was before that The, tra training the training happened all the four years. All the four years. Yeah. Fine. Okay. So once you decide that you want to do pastry and confectionery, you get to go do a training in that specific field mm. as well. Mm. So uh, I had a really good teacher. So mm. you know he molded all of us in that batch mm. really well, and it's because of him that I decided that I wanted to become a pastry chef. So okay. you know the whole concept of a pastry chef came in that. and uh, after that i was offered a job at leela palace in bangalore it was very close to my house so it was very easy for me to you know travel and things so that's when i started working there mm. and i was in charge of the macarons and chocolates okay division mm. so macarons is a dessert is not easy to make mm. uh, there are a lot of parameters it's a very temperamental dessert so okay. it's very difficult to get it done the right way mm. so i had really good mentors and i uh, took around 3 months to perfect it okay yeah so okay. it was like trial and error trial and error and then finally i was but you didn't to... want to quit no because this is something i knew that i would be able to do so okay. i was very sure that this is something that i can do so i tried and tried and i was able to perfect it Mm. and that's why like when i started my own shop also like macarons are our main like okay. you know yeah, yeah. like that's like our main highlight of it yes with uh, all yeah. those errors so like yes, yes. so errors make you perfect exactly yeah. yeah you always learn from your mistakes Mistake. so once you do something wrong you and, it, and you said it took you 2 months 3 months 3 months yes so uh, what i would like to tell my tell our viewers is that she took 3 months to perfect one, one dish. dish perfect one dish yeah If she had quit that, she wouldn't have reached this point of exactly. her life. I've heard people saying, "Can you pardon me, Kiri Runda?" When you, when they say, "Any can, any can say own it," and then when they're talking about the parayam, yeah. uh, there are people who say, "Like, I'm going to talk about it." Like, you know, we have a monthly or a steady income. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I've heard people say, "Monthly steady income is not enough." ഇങ്ങനെ ഒക്കെ തുടങ്ങിയിട്ട് ഒരു മാസം നഷ്ടമായെങ്കിൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും അടുത്ത മാസം പൈസ കിട്ടും അങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ ഒരു ഗ്യാപ്പ് വന്നാൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും സോ ഡിഡ് യു ഹാവ് ദറ്റ് ഫിയർ ദൻ യു വിൽ നോട്ട് യു മൈക്ക് നോട്ട് ഗെറ്റ് സ്റ്റഡി ഇൻകം അങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഫിയർ തോന്നിയോ ഐ ഹാവ് ദ ഫിയർ ഇൻ ടു ബി വെരി വെരി ഓണസ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ബിൻ ഓൺ ഡിസംബർ സിക്സ്റ്റീൻസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗോൺ ബി എ യുവർ സിൻസ് ബി യു നോ ഓപ്പൺ അപ് ദിസ് and it's not like i get a regular we have sales but then sales is not profit or income mm. so it is that's how business is that's mm. like you know a risk uh, that's one of the cons of starting a business mm. there are a lot of pros there are a lot of cons you don't get a fixed income mm. some months you get a lot of income some months you don't get a lot of income like mm. uh, i think 3 uh, months ago i fractured my leg and i was bedridden in for a month mm. so when that happened i wasn't able to take orders because i was like you know Correct. Yeah. i was the one mm. who was doing all the specialty mm. desserts and things like that so we lost out on a lot of orders because of that so there are always risks mm. but you know you take it you take the risk and you'll always gain some benefits at some mm. point of time or the other don't expect sudden gains or like you know large profits as soon as you start something give it time okay yeah so you should always give it time and like you know my father in law all of these people are into business and what everybody tells me people who have been in business for a really long time is do not expect anything to happen all of a sudden all of a sudden yeah it's it going will to take, take time. time it, it will, take, will time. take time yes yeah. it might work out it might not work out also but you should always but did you have that fear it yes. might not work in the yes. fear under no i still have that fear. <laughs> you still have that fear okay. yeah but that's something that you know you the, the main reason is that uh, i started off very young i started yeah. this when i was 24 years old mm. so you know uh, we had covid happening in between so we were not able to do anything so during that time we did as much planning as we could okay. so my husband is a very big pillar of support for me mm. so um, he and i were at home doing nothing so mm. we used to sit and do all the research that we could we designed the layout we had a cousin who helped out so what mm. another thing that i would like to mention is that try to utilize all the 
talent that you have around you when you're starting something don't feel ashamed or shy of asking people for help that's very important so a lot of our family and friends are the ones who help me in various aspects to bring this in it's not like i started this till and you know i was perfect with everything and it all just came up even in our previous episodes we always told our viewers like never to um never to um, feel shy ask va thornu chodikya there are people who know things ask i'm mean, even pala episode le we told we yeah. mentioned this uh, നമുക്ക് എന്ത് പ്രശ്നം ഉണ്ടാവും നമുക്ക് എന്ത് തുടങ്ങണോ അറിയാമെന്നോട് ചോദിക്കാം അനേകരോട് സംസാരിക്കാം നമ്മൾ ഒരുപാട് പേരോട് സംസാരിക്കുന്നതിന് നമുക്ക് പല ഐഡിയാസ് വരും നമ്മൾ പോലും ചിന്തിക്കാത്ത ഐഡിയാസ് ദേ മൈറ്റ് ഹാവ് നമ്മൾക്ക് ബെനിഫിഷ്യൽ വരുന്ന ഐഡിയാസ് ദേ വിൽ ഷോളി ഹാവ് സോ കീപ് ഓൺ ടോക്കിംഗ് ആസ്ക് 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 നെഫർ ഹെസിറ്റേറ്റ് ടു ആസ്ക് that's that's, that's a, a very very yeah. important point yeah. like you know you you don't become smaller by asking Correct. for help abam devika can we just go see your unit yes okay sure. so yeah. and then we will do more talks there yeah right going to wind up the episode we almost reaching 30 minutes there yeah. it was nice talking to you yes. but i want uh, from all your life's experience yes. that one thing that you want one or two things that you want to tell our viewers yeah. and of course to me as well yes. from your life's experience so uh, i feel like my journey is still starting out i have a lot of experiences still to come okay as well but from what little i've learned over yeah. the past few years what i would like to say is that just don't give up hope yeah. and just focus on something you know don't try to do many things at the same time try to focus on one thing and work as hard as you can to attain that goal like you don't get anything easy in life if you want to be successful if you want to be noticed by people you have to work hard for it and always go through the right path you know don't try to take shortcuts correct don't try to fool the government don't try to fool anybody be truthful to yourself and i think that you know you would succeed more Uh, like you know more efficiently you would be a, be a better human being as well so right that's what i would like to say and also be very aware of your surroundings mm-hmm. uh, like you know for example if i when i started up my business mm-hmm. um i thankfully had people who helped me out and told me about a lot of schemes by the government that is actually helpful not only for women entrepreneurs but for any budding entrepreneurs mm-hmm. so nammal eppozhum newspaper ok vaaikanam nu arayile that is very important oru vaadu schemes nammala government enna namukku therunnu varu adu nammala help cheyan vendi oru vaadu per kariyathilla arayathilla exactly we do not know especially yeah. women uh, women ne channel schemes oru vaadu with And regards to yeah. women entrepreneurs and uh, for women to be successful yeah. and to to stand on her own feet yeah. i feel there are yes. so many as you said correct so there are schemes that give you a better interest rate for loans than the government or uh, the you know public sector banks and all these mm. other private sector banks but uh, you know 
you should be able to utilize it for that you need to have knowledge Correct. so you know that's an effort that you have to put in from your mm. side to be av- uh, aware of all the schemes and loans that are available ipo ipolum cmedp nu arna or scheme is running mm. where you know you get uh, loans at a much lesser rate from the government adu ariyanulla effort eduga നമ്മൾ ഇപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ ഏതെങ്കിലും ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഓഫീസസിൽ പോയാലും നമ്മൾ പൊതുവേ വി തിങ്ക് യു നോ ദ നോട്ട് ഗോൺ ബി ഹെൽപ്പ്ഫുൾ ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ദാറ്റ് ബട്ട് ഇൻ മൈ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് നമ്മൾ ഗൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ മെൻറ്റർ ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് തന്നെ ഒരുപാട് ആൾക്കാരുണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ദർ ആർ എ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സസ് ഇൻ തിങ്സ് ദർ ആർ ഓർഗനൈസ് ബൈ ദ ഗവൺമെൻറ് സോ യു നോ യു അറ്റൻഡ് തിങ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് യു വിൽ ലേൺ എ ലോട്ട് ഫ്രം ഇറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ അതൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് എത്രയും യൂട്ടിലൈസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നതൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ യൂട്ടിലൈസ് ചെയ്ത് നമ്മളെ തന്നെ ബെറ്റർ ആക്കാൻ നോക്കുക So, always try to better yourself. നമ്മൾ എപ്പോഴെങ്കിലും ഞാൻ പെർഫെക്റ്റ് ആയെന്ന് പറയാൻ പാടില്ല നമ്മൾ യു ഷുഡ് ഓൾവേസ് ട്രൈ ടു അതാ ദി ഡേ യു തിങ്ക് യു ആർ പെർഫെക്റ്റ് യു ആർ ഡൺ യാ അന്ന് അന്ന് യു ആർ വേസ്റ്റ് യാ എക്സാക്റ്റ്ലി ഇൻ ഗുഡ് ബി ലൈക് ദി ഡേ ഐ തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ആം ദി ബെസ്റ്റ് ഐ ആം എ വേസ്റ്റ് യാ സോ വിത്ത് ദിസ് വി വൈൻഡ് അപ് ടുഡേസ് എപ്പിസോഡ് ആൻഡ് നമുക്ക് പറയാനുള്ള ഒറ്റ കാര്യം ഉള്ളൂ ഫോക്കസ് ഓൺ യുവർ ഗോൾസ് ലൈക്ക് യുവർ ഹോൾ ലൈഫ് ഡിപ്പെൻഡ്സ് ഓൺ ഇറ്റ് അങ്ങനെ നമ്മൾ ഫോക്കസ് ചെയ്താൽ നമ്മുടെ ഓൺ ലൈഫ് അതിലാണ് കിടക്കുന്നതെന്ന് നമ്മൾ വിചാരിച്ച് അതിലൊന്ന് ഫോക്കസ് ചെയ്യാമെങ്കിൽ യു വിൽ ഷ്യൂലി സക്സീഡ് ഇൻ യുവർ ലൈഫ് സോ വിത്ത് ദിസ് വി വൈൻഡ് അപ്പ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് മീ ഫ്രീ ആർ ജേക്കബ് സൈനിങ് ഓഫ് സോ ആൻഡ് വി മീറ്റ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് അ ബിഗ് ബൈ ബൈ